the day of accountability has come very close to the people while the people are in are in an illusion of their own ghafla they're forgetful of it they're too busy to away from it yalabun they're playing they're playing around allah says do you not consider that when the day comes it may come to you while you are playing or while you are just in ghafla forgetfulness or unaware so when the world ends brothers and sisters it will be a time where the majority of the people of the world are going to be in losthood forgetfulness ghafla meaning unaware too busy with imaginations and illusions and things ideas they've made up people will be busy in their world of music why do i say music because the music has an extraordinary effect on the mind and the heart people listen to it to get out of misery and sadness and get out of the reality of life but it doesn't take them towards good it doesn't take them towards god it doesn't take them towards the quran it doesn't take them towards going and doing you know good deeds they'll just do what the song tells them to do if it's love they'll live love if it tells them about death they'll probably commit suicide if it tells them about satanism they'll go and worship say whatever the song tells them they start living it some people are living in a world of money so they try to bring up all this money and try to live in it they're in that ghafla they want to forget about death so they're busy with luxury entertainment and all of that stuff and others are busy with other things addicted to drugs addicted to desires of their own the point is allah says the last hour will come when people are in that ghafla they're too, they're busy with some type of illusion in this world that makes them unaware of why they're here that's a temporary and allah says in the quran about these types of people to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the prophet tried to call them and and teach them and he would tell them please listen to me I want to save you and, and a lot of them wouldn't listen Allah is said to him the following verses فذرهم يأكلوا ويتمتعوا ويلههم الأمل فسوف يعلمون let them let them eat and let them entertain themselves and let them play and let false hope delude them and he let their hopes of whatever their ideas are let it delude them let it take over their minds for a little temporary while for so far ya alamun at the end of it they're soon going to come to know the reality it's going to face them it's going to grab them it's going to face them right in the face and they can't run away from it so allah says let them eat let them drink let them entertain themselves let them play let them be in their losthood whoever they are let them uh, and what allah says wa yulhihim al amal and let hope busy them what's hope hope is good in islam allah tells us have good hope in allah have good hope in his mercy when that's not the hope that the quran is talking about saying let hope meaning they've made up their ideas they don't want to learn they don't want to hear about heaven and hell they don't want to hear about death they don't want to hear about god they don't want to... it's talking about those who follow their desires and so they begin to fill or they begin to inter... or fill their 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 life with business of other things hope for let's say i don't know to be rich in the future hope to um uh, be this or be that or receive this or receive that in this world hope to live longer hope to just keep going yani let me give you an example i'm sitting in this room one time and there in a work area and i hear this person he says oh you know look yeah talking i'm going we're going to retire you know you he's talking about retirement and superannuation and all that stuff subhanallah what is it probably about 40 years old saying you know can't wait you know the retirement when we're 60 years old then we retire and he goes it's scary and then and then you know they were talking about it and saying things like oh but you know but you know life expectancy is about 70 80 years old if you're healthy so it's in you know, another 20 years or 25 years more after retirement that's a long time you know you get to and this person is having this hope where he doesn't even know what's going to happen to him tomorrow allah says let hope delude them yani don't practice your deen don't come to all closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep in with your with your bad desires because you have this false hope that you're still going to live for longer later on you'll repent later on you'll become a good person later on you'll you'll busy yourself with all these things later on later on for now 
is still young. They're still young. وَيُلْهِهِمُ الْأَمَلِ This is what it means. Let, you know, this hope of, oh, you're going to still live longer later on, later on, later on. Let that busy them. And really, wallahi, it's just a busyness. The shaitan is just busying these people. How many people, death came to them like that while they still had that hope at the age of 20, the age of 30, the age of 15. And they're still saying, when I'm 70, when I'm 80. And there's this cultural idea in my culture, I don't know about your culture, that Hajj should be done when you're 60 or 50 or 70. What's this? How do you know you're going to live till then? Hajj is compulsory at any time, like any other compulsory act, like your prayers, like your fasting.